Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Medica pitch session dedicated to French breakthroughs in artificial intelligence in medical imaging. I am Elizabeth Arno, project manager for the French Healthcare Association. French Healthcare is a public private initiative that brings together under a common banner all the French healthcare actors in order to promote their activities, international uh, experience and innovation. Today, we're presenting four innovating company from the French delegation that will be participating to Medica. I'm calling Intrasense, AZ Med, AE Screening and Millview. Each company will have five minutes to introduce themselves, their technology and solutions. We're now ready to get started and I am so introducing Intrasense. Thank you, Elizabeth, and also thank you to let me kicking off uh, this presentation. So my name is uh, Ludovic Gomes, I'm international business developer at Intrasense. Um, I will briefly present you the, the, the company for those of you who don't know. Um, we leading innovation in medical imaging since uh, 2004. Uh, we are based in France and we have few subsidiaries uh, all around the world. We invest uh, now and each year 30% uh, of our revenue uh, in the, in the R&D. And to give you a quick uh, example, and also an example that uh, it's really, really make the, the, the news, uh, we were the first application uh, to release, the first company to, to release uh, a COVID application, uh, which were registered CIN FDA. So now we said this, um, this 30% of revenue uh, in, in the R&D makes us to be able to, to, to do these kind of things uh, during, uh, during, I would say, uh, the, the, the pandemic. Um, what we do, uh, we do a project uh, which named Marianne. So uh, in, in the next slide, you, you will see that we, we provide a software dedicated to medical imaging. Uh, we are able to read any type of DICOM imaging and doing, uh, I would say, any type of post-processing, whatever the, I would say, the, the brand of the, of the modality, which means that we are able to, to have one and single interface to do any kind of uh, reading and post-processing. It's really intuitive to use uh, because we do software and software only. So we, we have a lot of experiences in, um, in user experience. And then it's a full integral solution. So basically what we have is we have a platform which answer to 80% of the, of the radiologist. And we'll able to plug what we call clinical app dedicated to an organ or disease. And this clinical app and the platform is a complete integral solution. That means all, uh, that meets all the radiologist needs. So now we, uh, we have AI, we have the clinical workflow and we are also able to put the AI from other company or also ours uh, AI. So as I told you, we have the, the, the clinical apps dedicated, for example, for the breast in MRI, prostate MRI, oncology follow-up, vascular things, liver surgery planning, uh, the, COVID, the COVID protocol, for example, or also colonography. And we, we are well, we, we, we know that we have some company that de developing uh, AI uh, and we are able to put this AI in, inside our solution, inside the same interface. Because, and I will conclude, uh, I will conclude with, uh, with, with that, uh, we think that AI needs to meet uh, clinical workflow to be efficient and to be used by the radiologist. This is what we, what we really, really think. So thank you. Thank you very much, Ludovic. That sounds very interesting. Um, now, please let me introduce you to AZ Med. Thank you, Elodie. So hello, everyone. I'm Liza Alem from AZ Med, a French startup that has been founded in 2018. Our aim is to improve healthcare systems thanks to artificial intelligence. And today, I'm going to show you how we do that. So over the last 10 years, we have noticed the explosion of the number of medical images in all the OECD countries. So next slide, please. So as you can see here, 
the number of medical images has increased of 100%, while the number of doctors to able to analyze these images has stagnated. So we are facing a shortage of radiologists for whom the workload is increasing. Uh, in the next the slide before, please. So there is one number that is really important to know is that on average, 92% of x-rays do not show any fractures. So it's time consuming and repetitive for a radiologist to see all these images with no fractures. And as a consequence, radiologists and also emergency physicians are working with a lot of stress and sometimes they can make errors in their diagnosis. So to improve doctors' working conditions, as well as patient care, we developed RAVEL, which is an artificial intelligence-based computer-aided diagnosis tool. So what can RAVEL do? First, it detects automatically all types of bone fractures on standard x-rays for adults and pediatrics. Also, it sorts exams by priority orders into the viewer. And finally, it can be smoothly integrated on all types of viewers or PAC systems. It is important to tell you that Rabel has been the first AI medical device CE marked in France in its category. And we have done several clinical studies to prove the performances of Rabel. So here I'm going to talk about the two main clinical study that we have conducted. So on the left, um, there's the first one with the hospital Rimouhi from the HPHP hospitals around Paris in France. The idea was to have performance figures about the solution in clinical use in the emergency department of a big hospital. And here are the results. So we had 96% of sensibility per patient and 86% of specificity per patient. Now for the second clinical study I'm going to present you. It was conducted in a private center near Paris so we collected 1,000 images analyzed by seven senior radiologists who participated, participated in the study. So 500 images were analyzed uh, with Rayvolve and, fi and 500 without it. And here are the results. So with Rayvolve, radiologists were faster by 36% uh, in the analysis of the images and the sensitivity was increased by 20.6%, which means less errors and a more secure diagnosis. So the key message for you to understand is that Rayvolve enables doctors to be more efficient and to avoid missing fractures. Now in terms of ergonomics, the solution is 100% integrated into doctor's workflow and it is connected directly to the fax system. AI requires only one second to generate the prediction, so it's extremely fast. And what is really important to know is that nothing changes regarding your habits. The predictions are automatically generated in your viewer in the same DICOM series without any additional click. So now let me show you how it looks like visually. Here is a viewer with the DICOM series on the left, and you have the native image that you can analyze on your own. And now, if you use Bravolve, you will still have the native image and you will have a duplicate where you can see the prediction made by the algorithm. Thus, you're not systematically influenced by the software and you can choose to look at the prediction. So now let's talk what, um, why AZMED, why choosing us among other companies? So first, and I already said it, we are the first company to be CE marked. But also what is really important for us is that our algorithm are 100% custom made to provide best in class performances. I want to stress this point here because our methodology is quite unique and we are working really closely with each of our partners to provide them with the best algorithm trained and personalized for them. Also the software is capable of analyzing more than 80% of the total volume of X-rays produced in imaging and emergency department, thanks to detection of bone fractures, but also the detection of pulmonary and cardiac pathologies. Because yes, what I didn't tell you yet is that in addition to an algorithm detecting bone fracture, we have a second CE marked algorithm specifically dedicated to thoracic pathologies. So the conclusion is that we have 90% of the partners that use the solution during the trial uh, phase who decided to keep 
the solution and to move on to a contract phase. So to show you where we stand today and the progression that we have uh, over the years at Azimbet. So to remind you, Azimbet was created in 2018 and since then the company has been progressively growing. Today, we are more than 25 people at AZMED, uh, mostly AI researchers, software engineers, and radiologists. And as I said, there is more than 80% transformation rate between trials and contracts. And it's even more important to keep this figure in mind since the number of partners has exploded over the years. So it is a very challenging uh, KPI. To, to keep it as high, but it is very important for us to provide the best performances possible and to be extremely flexible for each partners. So today we have 2,500 partners and we hope that soon you will be um, one of them. So thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Liza. That was absolutely great. Um, I'm now uh, going to introduce you to AI screening. Uh, your mic is off. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for um, uh, inviting me to present. So here we are going to focus on our expertise about um, taking care of uh, images, not only in hospitals, but also in ambulatory care. Uh, eye screenings uh, was founded uh, in 2017. Uh, I'll go to that uh, slide in just a minute, Elizabeth, if I may. Um, and in, in a nutshell, eye screenings was founded in 20, uh, 2017. We are now a 12 uh, people uh, company and we have uh, several um, medical devices that are already on the market. Uh, and uh, we started out at a, of uh, Ecole Polytechnique, which is a leading engineer school in, in France. And uh, we come, uh, my founder, I'm the founder of the company along with the, my associate, we have two complementary uh, backgrounds. Since I've worked on um, chronic disease management, he and my uh, partner has worked on the medical imaging field for the past 10 years. Next slide, please. As part of the, the goal we imagined uh, four years ago, we started off as a platform that we called Alicia, uh, where basically um, in four easy steps, uh, we are uh, enabling the healthcare professional uh, at the hospital or at the primary care uh, office to upload its images uh, and have uh, feedback immediately uh, on the images he's sending uh, to the system. And then from a regulatory purpose, uh, we may have a diagnosis made by the specialist or an autonomous AI uh, algorithm, which is our uh, current aim uh, when we are developing our uh, medical devices. And the fourth step uh, is having um, an application for the health patient uh, and uh, monitoring the health processes so it can access his diagnosis, treatment, and follow-up. Uh, before we move to uh, the next slide, what I thought, uh, what I want to, to uh, uh, illustrate in this uh, image is that we are able to tackle any medical images type uh, and we are able to provide an autonomous diagnosis, which is the aim of uh, the three algorithms I'm going to uh, provide you insight on. Uh, and currently to keep our regulation status uh, optimal here in Europe, we are a support to, to diagnosis uh, um, algorithms. Next slide, please. So what we've done over the past three years, uh, we are, uh, we've got our uh, quality management system audited uh, and we uh, were able to develop three medical devices, uh, two in the ophthalmology uh, area and one in the dermatology. The first two initial ones uh, are for diabetic retinopathy um, uh, prediction, the leading cause for uh, blindness. And we've um, opened the, um, this opportunity to another area, which is the glaucoma, which is the second leading uh, blindness uh, of the world. And we are currently working with a leading uh, uh, key opinion leader in France to uh, 
open our product to uh, age macular degeneration. Uh, so this is where we are getting our experience and expertise in ophthalmology. And we, based on our current expertise, we also developed a medical device on dermatology, and we're able to provide prediction on melanoma, which is the leading cause of cancer, of skin cancer. Uh, what makes us unique is not only have we been able to develop our own medical devices, but also we're able to integrate third-party medical devices uh, conf confidentially, uh, confidentially uh, without us having access to that data. So in a nutshell, if uh, and uh, trying to summarize what I've just said, with the added value we bring is that we are able to integrate uh, medical devices uh, into the, the software of doctors, of uh, software editors in hospitals and with public and private payers. And that's the reason, uh, for instance, the government of Egypt choose us to deploy a large um, uh, screening project for diabetic retinopathy. Uh, from um, a business model perspective, I thought it was interesting to mention that uh, we are open to any uh, honest uh, approaches, but we usually work on a per use approach or uh, um, uh, a model on, based on um, uh, abonnement, which uh, Elizabeth will help me translate in a minute. Mm. Subscription. Nope. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aisa. That's a subscription. Thank you for uh, the ones who have been listening for me. Uh, thank you very much, Elizabeth. I'm uh, all done and obviously available for any questions. Thank you. That was absolutely great. Thank you very much. Um, and so now I'm going to leave the stage to Aisa, who is obviously uh, obviously well connected, who will introduce us to uh, Milvu. So hello, I'm Aïssa, I'm the CEO of Milvu, a French medtech uh, founded by a radiologist and three PhD engineers of leading French tech schools. Uh, we have recently completed a very successful pre-series A funding campaign, and we are currently expanding internationally. So we target medical imaging with a focus on workflow improvements using artificial intelligence. This approach has raised a considerable interest in the radiology community, which is experiencing, as it has already been mentioned, a rapidly expand, increasing workload. So we started with the most painful part of medical imaging, which are emergency department, where X-rays are almost never read in real time. So this lack of real time interpretation results in increased length of stay in the emergency department increased error rates, both false negative and false positive, and of course, increased pressure on the emergency physician. The most current situation leaves A, the emergency physician alone with images, and B, radiologist with dozens, sometimes hundreds of, of x-rays to be read on the next reporting shift. What we provide is a real-time AI-based analysis of x-ray on our latest version of algorithm, we reach a specificity of 97% for a negative predictive value of 99%. In other words, almost no false negative and a very few false positive. And this is basically the clinical performance of a senior radiologist. So let's take two rapid examples of what we bring, next slide please, of what we bring to physician on difficult diagnosis. Here we have a female patient working in the emergency department with a pain in the right hip region. After a clinical exam and x-ray, the emergency physician concludes to a minor trauma and prescribes painkiller. Milvu, next slide, diagnoses a non-dislocated fracture of the femoral head and avoids discharging this patient with a major pathology. Next slide. Uh, a young male arrives in the emergency department after a fall. The emergency physician suggests a rib fracture, which is negative to uh, X-ray. So the resident in radiology confirms that there is no rib fracture. And both miss, next slide, uh, the major issue, which is a wonderful pneumothorax, which is revealed by AI. So this is the kind of things we are bringing to physician in difficult diagnosis. Next slide. This solution on emergency is the first brick of a comprehensive milieu suite, which also includes automatic measurement to save time to technologists and radiologists, 
which are already available, as well as CT and MRI R&D programs. So automatic measurement can program very, sorry, automatic measurement can provide very important and reliable information for orthopedists, but can also be used uh, in emergency department. For instance, the bowler angle is a very good hint for detection of calcaleum fracture, which are sometimes not visible on X-ray. In the same way, angles between vertebra and lengths between bones and soft tissues are excellent markers of fracture of the cervical spine, which might also not be visible on, on X-ray. Finally, we provide integrated productivity tools such as triage, prioritization of exams, alerts, and uh, an automatic pre-documented report. We are fully integrated with most PACs and EMRs uh, on the market. We perform real time automatically without any human intervention. AI support is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week without any change of performance, which would be linked to time, stress or tiredness. To sum up, the milieu seat is reliable, clinically efficient, totally integrated to information system, and of course, affordable. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was very interesting. Thank you very much. Um, we have now reached to the end of that pitch session. I would like to uh, thank again our companies today uh, that were Intrasense, AZMed, AE Screening and Milvu. Uh, if uh, you are interested in um, artificial intelligence for medical imaging, don't miss uh, our companies on uh, Medica and feel free to contact them via their website. Uh, for my part, uh, that's, that's all for me now. Thank you very much for your participation and uh, keep up with the French healthcare information with the French healthcare brand social media and the French healthcare association social media. That's it for me now. Thank you very much to everyone and I hope to see you very soon on Medica. Have a good conversation. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.